Good morning guys. Happy fall. Yesterday was officially the first day of fall. My favorite season ever. I'm so excited. I took a shower already, got dressed, put on makeup, and I'm wearing a sweater and some skinny jeans. Um, I'm going to dry my hair really quickly because it's still wet and then I'm going to run some errands. I think I'm going to go to Target, possibly Brandy Melville, and just kind of drive around, enjoy the chilly weather. So, yeah. Tell me why one side of my hair is like straight and perfect and the other side is like frizzy and messy. Probably because I didn't spend enough time on this side, but still. So I'm back from Target. I was kind of nervous to film in there, but this is what I got. Mostly ended up getting vegan groceries, but they actually had a really good food section. So the first thing I got Morning Star. When I first went vegetarian, I was all about these, but then I turned vegan and they're not vegan. They recently made them vegan, at least some of them. So this is their chicken patties. And since it's fall, I got the Khalifa Farms Pumpkin Spice Latte Cold Brew Coffee with almond milks. Super excited about those. And this is my favorite strawberry lemonade so i got that i got peach tea and then i stopped by the makeup and beauty section and i love pacifica products but i don't really need more makeup right now so i just got two masks this is the wake up beautiful super hydration sleepover mask so it's not a peel off mask or anything like that. You just put it on before you go to bed, like kind of like a night cream. So I'm excited to try that. And then I got the Disobey Time Rose and Peptide Facial Mask. So this is just a sheet mask. So that will be cool. And then I have a ton of vegan cream cheese, but I didn't have bagels. So I got bagels. I got this is actually really cool. I'm part of like a Facebook group for vegans, and people were talking about this, like looking for a vegan pot pie. Um, this is from Amy's. It's dairy free, and it's vegan. And I used to love pot pie as a kid, so. I'm excited to try that. Also, a lot of the Amy stuff I can't really get, like the burritos, because I, as you can see, don't have a microwave. Um, my apartment didn't come with one, and it's fine, because I also don't think microwaves are good for you, like with radiation and stuff. So. And then I got this cereal because I've been eating this every morning and I've ran out. I love the Love Crunch granola, which is like the same as that. And they have a new cereal. And then I'm out of coffee. So I got the pumpkin spice coffee. I'm pretty sure it looks like it's basically just like a blonde roast. It says ingredients, just coffee and natural flavors, which is kind of vague um but this was a whole situation so i was looking for coffee and i normally get a mocha from starbucks but then the keurig version said that it has milk in it so i hope i haven't been having milk i probably have i don't know but i didn't want to get that so i got the pumpkin spice coffee because obviously the 
we all know the one that Starbucks, the pumpkin spice, does have milk in it, like for sure. Um, they just came out with a version in the UK that is plant-based, but... And then I got some hazelnut coffee, because hazelnut is my fave. And I have this really good hazelnut creamer from Trader Joe's. I like to put in coffee as well. And then I just got some, one of them broke at self-checkout, so I had the guy throw it away. Also, they only had self-checkout this morning, which was kind of annoying, because I don't like self-checkout. Like, there were a ton of employees walking around the store, but nobody checking people out, so what the heck. But... And then I got black beans because they like making burritos a lot. And I also got pink beans. Um, I got another yogurt. I like peach stuff. Can't tell. And then I got some fruit snacks. These are my favorites. It's almost all for food. And then I got Lara bars. Fun story, I was starving the other day, and this girl offered me crackers with, like, cheese in them, and I was like, oh, thank you so much, but, like, I can't have them because I'm dairy-free. She also had a Laura bar, but she didn't realize that it was dairy-free, and she was like, I felt so bad I was eating it, and, like, I thought it was milk chocolate, but it wasn't. I was like, it's okay, but I wanted to buy some because then they were on my mind, and then I really, really want to see a simple favor. I didn't really realize what it's about, but basically... Like Lively's character works in Manhattan for a fashion designer and she lives in Connecticut and this mom blogger is asked to pick her son up from school and then Blake Lively's character Emily disappears so it seems really cool I didn't realize there was a book version like, I don't know if the book came first or not, or if they just, like, made it after the movie from the script. Well, this is now a major motion picture, so maybe. So, I'm excited to read this. I want to read more. And then, the last thing I got are... pillows. They're $3.99. I don't necessarily need pillows, but I feel like pillows get dirty and they're kind of hard to wash, so like nothing bad about getting new ones. Let's take a seat. Yeah, so um, Again, I was kind of nervous to actually film in Target. I took some clips of like my shopping cart and there weren't even a lot of people there, but there were like a lot of employees walking around and I just felt weird about it because apparently none of the employees were checking people out. What? But yeah, I still think I'm going to go to Brandy Melville. I just kind of like I'm in a shopping mood today. I haven't been to stores in a while, so I'm going to put away my groceries, and then I think I'm going to drive over. Also, I'm so mad I missed it, but like, I think last weekend, they were having a warehouse sale in Brooklyn for Brandy, and everything was like $5, $10, or $15, like, basically their samples, or if they have extra stuff, so kind of bummed. I hope they do that again soon. I think they're doing one in LA now doesn't help me okay I'm gonna do a taste test for the cold brew I don't really like it I'm glad I only poured just a little. It's okay. It's kind of like, it tastes watered down. Like, I used to get pumpkin ice cream when I was a kid, and it kind of reminds me of that, but like, if the ice cream was melted, if that makes sense. Like, I 
This is like the LaCroix of pumpkin spice. Like it's just like a hint of pumpkin, but like enough to give it this weird kind of aftertaste that you're like, what did I just drink? I'm gonna drink it, I'm gonna finish it, but. Coming at you live from my closet. I'm back from Brandy Melville. I I didn't want to film in there, especially like on the changing area, because there are just like curtains and that's kind of weird. Um but I was trying on like a couple tops, well like one top which I ended up getting, and then a ton of jackets, because like I'm just feeling like fall. I need more jackets for some reason. I have a lot of sweaters and like fall clothes in general, but I just, something about jackets I really like. So I ended up getting one and it took me forever to decide, but I really like this one. It's like a bomber jacket, but it's faux fur and it's black. So most of the stuff I own is black and I feel like it will go with a lot. So I'm super excited about this pick. So it has a zipper and I have a jacket that's similar but it's longer and it's not as soft this one is like really plush it feels like I'm wearing a nice cozy blanket and yeah I like the collar here and it's just my room is so messy excuse that but it is just really cute I like the lining and his pockets it's just just great. So this is what I ended up going with from Brandy and I'll also show you guys the top I got. I actually, I last time I was at Brandy I saw the shirt that I got and I wanted it. It's kind of like a good like professional looking button down but I ended up not getting it and like kind of you know regretting that so I went back and it was still there also one of the determining factors for getting the jacket was that it was the only one left and I didn't get the top because there were more so I felt like if I go back for it and I still want it and it's meant to be then I'll get it then I'm just changing here Grab the top I'm wearing a super like fluorescent pink bra today so hopefully you won't be able to see it through the shirt we will see I think it's fine Flip the ground. so this is the button down um, I really like the length of the sleeves and just the fit I think it you know, it just fits pretty well. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it's kind of like a silky material. My mirror's like dirty, I swear I just wash it. Um, it's like a silky type material. So it's really comfortable. What I love about Brandy is the material of their clothes is normally really comfy and cozy. Um what I don't like is some of their clothes, like their tops especially, are really like 
cropped and small lately like I've been shopping there for years and I feel like they're just really into like smaller styles lately and I'm not like I like coverage for tops so this was like a good pick so super stoked about that like I feel like it's just a good basic top to have dress it up or dress it down I want more like professional looking clothes like I've been really into button downs lately I used to think they're like not cute but something like this with like a cool material is cute or let me see I got where is it a couple other shirts lately that are like button downs like this one this is from pinky auto they, I don't know if they still have it, I think it might have just been for the summer, but they had a pop-up shop in Soho for a while, and I love how this literally ties together. I think it's like such a modern take on, you know, an outfit staple, like a button down, and this looks really cute on, it drapes really well. Um... A couple other button downs like not that many though I feel like you never have too many this one obviously mostly for spring um, I got it from when I was interning at Joe Fresh I think this was not a sample we were using it for social post or something but like that you know that blousey material is cool and then this, I'm kind of sad about this one. I feel like it's a little bit ruined because it's like not, it doesn't drape the same as it used to because I would, I brought it for wardrobe as an option for an acting thing. And they put me in this with, um, what was I wearing? I think I was wearing this and... Not this skirt. Maybe it's in the wash. Um, but just a small skirt, black skirt from Brandy as well. And it was super cute, but wardrobe being nice, steamed this top for me. And the way it's kind of made is it it's like sewed, cinched together right here. Um, kind of like the other one, but the other one's tied together. This one's like sewed together. And when they, like you can kind of tell on the sleeves, it's supposed to be like, like have like a wrinkled look. Um, but when they steamed it, it got like really flat. So it's not like the same anymore and I'm kind of sad about it but oh well it's still cute but I think think this video might be getting kind of long this is basically just a Target shopping haul and like a brandy haul even though I didn't get that many things just this top and that jacket but I think I'm going to make a separate video, like not vlog style, for fall clothes because I have a ton of um, like clothes down here. I am ridiculous. I thought that I brought my whole thing of sweaters to my parents' house, so I've been looking at their house for my sweaters and it has been here the entire time this is like a under bed storage thing but I kept it in my closet and I think I packed it for them to take but forgot about it and like just like looking like my clothes are covering it and then it's white like it's only clear on the side and I don't like sit on my closet floor a lot but my sweaters have been here the entire time and I have been freaking out and Anyway, I feel inspired since it is now fall to do like a try on for fall outfit inspo or, or what have you. So 
I think I'm going to work on that video next. Um, and yeah, kind of still feel weird about filming in stores like Target and Brandy, but maybe next time I'll gain some more courage and get more footage of actually shopping instead of just like a haul. But hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.